one of the places that Katie Holmes' daughter, Surrey, might have ended up going if she stayed in Scientology, is here, Mary's Schoolhouse. It's part of the Applied Scholastics uh, scam that Scientology runs, and it goes all the way up to 12th grade. I mean, who would take a 12th grader to a tiny little building like that? And it's right here on L. Ron Hubbard Way, right next to their main building of buildings. The place has a lot fewer students than before, but they, I can still hear them inside, but I don't dare get any closer because they have a restraining order against me and I can't cross the streets. Hi, officer, how are you? I'm doing good, how are you doing? I'm fine. Turn around for me? Sure. Put your hands behind your back. Uh, face that way. Put your hands behind your back. Uh-huh. Palms together. Frame. Palms together. Uh-huh. Together. There you go. What's what wrong? What are you up to, man? I was walking around here talking to the Scientologists. Oh, yeah? Are you supposed to be here? What do you mean, supposed to be here? Do you have a restraining order? I have a restraining order against me in front of that school, and I wasn't in front of the school. Yeah, right, yeah, so we'll just here to check it out. Right. Uh, now, wait a minute. Face, the, face there, spread your legs. Do you, do you spread your legs. Do you suspect me of doing something? Yeah, I suspect you of breaking a court violation. That's what I suspect you of doing. I didn't cross the street. You don't have to cross the street. This side isn't the side where I violated. I can walk on this side. The judge, they asked the judge on purpose to uh, give me that uh, waiver. Now, I thought you weren't allowed to uh, get my ID unless you suspect me of something. You're detained mm -hmm. right now. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Yes, Officer Sandano. Sedano. You'll find camera equipment. And, and that's a list of Scientologists who have recently fled, yeah. including uh, Katie Holmes. Have you heard about that? I didn't know she was a Scientologist. But... Well, she isn't now. She just quit. I never knew she was, though. I thought it was just a uh, oh. oh, no. If you're married to a Scientologist, you have to be one, and now she doesn't want to be oh, one. Is this camera all? Camera, camera stuff? That's another video camera. Okay. And then your phone? Mm hmm. So what proof did the Scientologists say they have that I violated the restraining order? They don't have to. They don't have to. They say they have one, so we show up. Oh, I your, see. We get your name, uh -huh. we check it in the computer. If it comes back and says they do, then there it is. If not, then we unhook you and say, have a nice day. Okay. So as long as I've walked on this side of the street, I'm not Well, I don't know. I have to uh -huh. check what the restraining order is. Oh, I see. Where did, did you walk all the way down to the end? All the way down to I walked. Facing I walk everywhere except where I'm not allowed, which is in front of that school. So you walked on this sidewalk all the way down to the next road? Yes. Okay. I'm following that. This sidewalk all the way down on L. Ron Hubbard Way. Okay. So what did the uh, Scientologists have to tell you today? You ought to get a life. You know? They had very little to say. They don't want to talk about Katie Holmes. Uh -huh. I just understand. But, you know, if I was them, I wouldn't want to talk about it. Uh-huh. The trouble is, so many very important people have left that they really need to know that, so I'm here to tell them, because they wouldn't find out otherwise. Some of them didn't even know she was getting divorced. Have you heard that uh, Katie Holmes blew? No. Well, did you get the restraining order for? Protesting in Santa Monica in front of a different school. In front of a different school? Yes. Oh, I'm on the church property. Uh, Scientology isn't a church. You're on the list. You know, then you should tell the Episcopal people to have me leave, because I'm not going anywhere. So why is it a, to this place? Uh, because the restraining order they got against me was against all of their schools that they admit to having. Uh, so what, are, what are, is that schools like for younger kids or older? Or? Well, that sign there says it's uh, uh, up to 12th grade, but I doubt anyone in 12th grade goes to that tiny little school. Mostly that's just young uh, children whose parents are Scientologists. Oh, okay. And when they're at the school, the Scientologists spy on the children and ask them questions like, is there anything anyone ever told you never to tell anyone? So now in order to violate the restraining order, they have to have evidence that I walked in front of that school. They just have to say you did. They just have to say I did. Yeah. That works with court orders. 
I don't have to. I don't have to physically see you do it. Uh -huh. Them saying you did it is enough. Mm. And then when you go to court and you are before the judge, he decides whether they're telling the truth or you're telling the truth. Oh. So. Now, which, now, which side of the street did you see me on when you came here? This side. Of the street. Yes, the the opposite side, correct? Well, this side. Of the street. Which is the opposite side, correct? It's, sure. I wasn't on the same side of the street as the school. Sure. So my partner's talking to that. Uh huh. Yeah. So why do you think Katie is home left? She didn't want her daughter to go into schools like that. So I take it you're not a not a uh, no. A I'm not a Scientologist. <laughs> I dress like them today though, so that when I interview them, I can walk up to them without them freaking out and running away. Yeah. What is it, uh, what did you, uh, are you writing a book or something? No, I just don't like anti-gay cults. Oh, okay. Oh, that's cool. They're anti-gay, they're anti-psychiatrists, they're anti-aspirin. They treat children as slaves, that's why Katie ran away. Yeah, they've been in the news quite a bit lately. Yes, that's why I came today. Have you taken their personality test? Three. Yes. Or no, I didn't take that. I've taken the stress test. The meter? E-meter. Oh, E-meter. Right. And what we do is we put the cans in your hands and it helps you uh, locate stress in your life. And oh. what we do is we find, um, help you uh, locate the most stressful situations. Oh, so, so when like the needle goes all the way, I'm stressed mm -hmm. or something. Mm -hmm. I've taken the stress test. From them? Yes, they're the only ones who give it. So they, they can just say that okay, and then well, I... Let me talk to my partner. Okay. Right? All right, Mr. What's your name? We're gonna put you in the back of our car for now, so we see the restraining order, the extra hard copy. Uh huh. So just to get you out of the sun, have, have you, have, we're gonna have you. Okay. Okay. Go ahead, okay. It's not made for people over five six. So. Oh! There you go. Lower that up. Okay, that other one lower as well. Okay. This is a citizen's arrest. I can get Odo on it. Any more DC unit, absolute fact, 5334, Monta Street, subject to a female line, 29 years, no for description, code system 32640, 1149. To be honest, it was cooler outside. I can pull up and get you parked in the shade. Thanks. Is that good? That's fine. Alright. Is this going to be a citizen's arrest? Um, yeah, that's what it would end up being. If, if it ends up being that. Mm-hmm. That's good, because I can then sue them if I am found not guilty. They're very thorough. I'm sure they'll find it. Oh, I'm sure. So if you're married to a Scientologist, then you have to become a Scientologist? Uh, or they turn your spouse against you. For instance... Maybe that's why Katie Holmes bailed? Yes, she doesn't want her child raised in Scientology, and now they're following her. They're following her? They follow her with PIs and goons to frighten her, but it's not working. Well, good for her. Seems like she's staying strong through all this. Well, she's the kind of person who would have a baby as a publicity stunt and marry a guy in a space alien cult, so <laughs> she's kind of, uh, she's not exactly innocent either. Well. No, Scientology separates families, and so like when Tom Cruise divorced Nicole Kidman, she basically had to give up rights to her children in exchange for never talking about Scientology again, and then her children's ears were full of, filled full of lies about how she's a terrible person for leaving. How high in the hierarchy is uh, Tom Cruise? He's a high-level Scientologist, but he, he just is a Scientologist in name only. He doesn't want to be a Scientologist anymore. He just says he is because he has to. To appease it? Yes. Or they could come out with all the gay dirt they have on him from all of his talk therapy sessions, probably done in this building or the Celebrity Center.
Is this is where all the celebrities come? No, they go to the celebrity center over on Franklin. There's a celebrity center on Franklin? Yeah, you can see it from the highway. It has a big yellow Scientology sign. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Ah. It used to be a swanky hotel, and then they bought it and fixed it up. That's where Tom Cruise's mother and sister live. Every room is said to be bugged. And sometimes uh, John Travolta has taken gay guys up there to have sex with them, and they recorded him first on sound and then on video, too, having sex with gay men. So if he ever tries to leave, that'll get leaked to the Internet. It's kind of what's happening now, right? With him? Yes. Bad stuff's coming out. They've recorded him? Yes. Look at all the cameras around here. Yeah. About why they've got cameras everywhere. Yeah, that's weird. And you know the cameras follow us. See, it just yeah, moves. Yeah, watch how they follow us. Yeah, I know. It's kind of funny. We're the stars. That means they have to have people behind those cameras. Watching you all the time. I, I know. Oh, now it's on you. I, I, Look I who's more important. Look who's more important. Me as usual. <laughs> Even though Orange is the hothead. <laughs> Come on, me. Oh, there's cameras there. This is a very incredible... Uh, very secure. They have three bicycle guards alone. Hi. Hi, bike guards. Would you like to talk to me? There are so many cameras that if I was to have violated this restraining order, they can't say they don't have evidence because uh, it's everywhere. Then the, this is when they claim, oh, our security cameras were broken that day. Or they'll just lie and say whatever they want to get away with it. I mean, I've been here many times. Uh, since I got the restraining order, and I've never crossed the street. Do you know what the Do you know what the restraining order says as far as uh, like how many feet you're allowed to be within? Or, um, or does it not I'm supposed I'm supposed to be uh, far from every Scientology school, except this one, because if I had to stay far from this one, I couldn't protest here. So the judge gave me a waiver that I only have to stay across the street from this school. Okay. Which is what I did. Right. Do you know who the, what the named uh, protected, well this is a place, it's a school, not a person, but... It's the location, it's not a person, yeah. Oh. So they worked it out with the judge that the width of the street was basically the... Uh, the, the allowable distance. Yes. How much, because uh, don't you have to like pay to... Is that how Scientology works? You pay to like buy the next level of... You, you have to pay for everything. It's an, an organization that wants to get the most money and free labor out of people as possible. So sometimes it's a religion, sometimes it's not, but if you want to walk into a church and open a like hymnal or something, you can do that in another religion and here you have to pay for everything. And it gets much more expensive the longer you're in. Hey, if you want to get like the next level, it's, it costs more and more, right? Yes. Something like that? 